Hello, my crafty friends. Well, I'm ready to try and finish up this um, mixed media board that I'm doing. Um, and I wanted to put this picture on it, or most of it. I'm going to tear it out, I think. I don't want it square on there. And I really wanted some leaves in the background to kind of transition from the greenery around her to the board. And I really thought this would be fun. But the more I try um, to figure out how to get this to stay put, the harder I think it's going to be to get it to be something that will stay in place well. So I think I'm going to have to give up on that idea, even though that is what I really wanted to do. Um, these are some, it's a real fern that's been preserved. I found it at Hobby Lobby. I got it to use it on the jelly plate I got a package of them for my leaf journal and then um, so I'll, I'll use these another way but they're not going to work well here um, but that's what I had left over from that other project and I had these I really like the fern idea and this is the only fern stamp I have I don't have any fern stencils so if I'm going to use ferns on here this is what I'm going to have to to use and so I tried this ink. I've used this on the jelly plate, so it has acrylic paint, you know, all over it. But it didn't make a very good imprint with the ink. So that's not going to work. Um, and if it didn't work well on this paper, it's certainly not going to work on this board. Which makes me think, if I'm going to use this, I'm going to have to use paint. Um, I also have this leaf. And I didn't know if I wanted to put a couple of these in there to um, so it wouldn't all be ferns and have them be a different color. I'm not sure. I'm still trying to decide which one of these two um, phrases I want to put on here. This one says every moment matters and this one says every day is a second chance and I like both of those. So um, I'm just going to leave those right there for the moment. Anyway, what I want to do is go ahead and tear around this like I want it to be. And then I'm going to put it down here and kind of draw underneath it. So I know that my leaves need to be going out from that point. So we're going to kind of start with that. And I'm going to start by getting rid of this background. Okay. Now then, um, trying to decide if I want to try to use my ruler or if I want to just try to tear around it. I want to keep the bird and I want to keep her and kind of come up like this. So it's not going to be an oval. It's going to be a, a shape that's based on what I'm keeping rather than a specific shape. Um, I think we're just going to go for it and see. It's hard to tear um, like this because you don't want to bend the the card and you don't want to tear the wrong thing because you know you pretty much got one chance <laughs> pretty much just got one chance at it so I do have another picture I could use if I have to if I really messed it up so it's not the same picture though and I really like this one so Okay, I, I think I like that. I think it's an um, interesting shape. I did pick out some paints. I've got olive green and greenscape, which is kind of a sagey green. Those go really well together. The other one I have here is marsh green. And I think it would go okay with either one of those. Um, but I think these two really look better with this. 
I have a this color right here um, but that's not one of my favorite colors of green so I don't want to pull that out I want to pull out the other greens and so I think I'm going to use these two here okay first let's ink this up and um, And since I've done everything else in browns, I'm going to go ahead and ink this in the sepia. Okay, I think I like that. Now then, I'm going to need to um, to decide exactly where I want her to be, and do I want leaves coming out all the way around her, or just this direction? Um, I don't want her centered, I know that, and I think down here is probably kind of that rule of thirds area would say to put her right here, so I think that's where I want her. So let me get a pencil here and... Okay. Okay, so I'm going to use that. You can't hardly see it, but I did draw a shape on there that I want my ferns coming out from. Um, and I'm going to put a... Kind of give myself a knowledge of where the edge is of the picture okay that one's wrong Okay, now I've got some marks to kind of help me, help guide me. And now for the scary part, to put the ferns on here, I really would like for them to be going like this, but this one only goes like that, um, which will work well for back here. Um, if I was putting her over here, that would work really well but it just feels wrong to put her in this you know this part when she's looking that way you want kind of her looking into the stuff so we're gonna have to um, just have the ferns going a different direction than we wanted uh, the leaves are the same way they're turned the same way um, this is a little scary. This is a little bit scary. Okay, um, I'm going to pause and get, I think I want to put um, the paint on the jelly plate so I can use that as a stamp pad. I'll be right back. All right, the only way I know to do this is to just do one leaf at a time. And so I think I'm going to put um, some ferns in and then... Um, And then we will maybe add some of these in. Or maybe we should put some of these in and put the ferns to cover up these stems. Hmm. Not sure which is better. Let's start with this one. I'm going to do this one in this sagey type green. 
and um, we will just hope that it goes okay. Okay, let's put, start down here. Let's go ahead and do one here. And then let's do one up here. I don't know if this is a good plan or not. It's a little scary. I've said that several times, haven't I? <laughs> okay. I'm trying to decide if I should do a couple more. Let's go ahead and do just one. Huh. See, I'm kind of wondering if I shouldn't just do a few more of those and forget it. But I really want the ferns. So, you know, just be courageous, Lisa. Be courageous. this off um, because we're not jelly printing <laughs> we're using this as an ink pad I do need to roll this off however all right I've got some scratch paper somewhere ahead and dry this. Those are very wet baby wipes. Okay, and now the darker one. Oh, come on. And this may be just a little bit too olivey for for ferns, really. But um, okay. Let's go ahead and do one down here. And I kind of want it to cover a little bit of both of those. So, so it looks like it's, I don't know, growing together or something. All right. Well, I'm kind of committed now, so. Oh, 
Um. Oh, that's from the what was already there. It's not paint. All right, let's do another one. I don't know. It's hard to tell. I think that um, We're going to Okay, let's look at this because Okay, I'm going to do one more of these and then I'm going to do a couple more of these leaves kind of over the top of them. Um, okay. Clean off my brayer. Go ahead. I think I need to let that dry a little bit before I put these try to put these leaves on top of it so that it won't so they'll imprint on top rather than smudging things so be back in a minute okay this is what it looks like right now and I'm thinking I want to leave right here one of these and then right there uh, not the whole leaf just some of it peeking out from behind here to kind of um, cover up these stems for one thing Anyway, let's just give it a shot and see. handle wet with ink I mean with 
paint. Okay, I'm going to start by putting one right here. definitely need another one and that may not have been far enough out I might should have gone a little further out okay let's take this one up here Hmm. Okay, I'm going to leave this so I can do another one if I need to, and I'm going to dry it real quick. Okay, this is what it looks like right now. But I'm thinking that this, these words here kind of compete with this. And so I'm thinking I need to have a few leaves coming this direction right there. It may not be a good plan, but, um, but we're going to do it anyway. just bits here and I'm going to go ahead and do one more little bit right there okay uh oh you got paint on my other words Okay, I'm going to let this dry and clean this up, and then we'll come back and we'll see how that works. Okay. I think, I think that helps out a lot. <coughs> so this is what we're going to do. I do want to um, Mod Podge these down so that way I can cover the whole thing and it'll have a, a protective coating over everything too, so... that up there. Get my Mod Podge. Where is it? Or my... Oh, there it is. Let's say it's my, my concoction. <laughs> That's what I should call it. My concoction. And my brush. Oh, I probably should... Okay, I'm going to have to pause the video and find the brush. Just a Okay, I found it, of course, as soon as I, um, as soon as I pause the video. <laughs> okay. I want to make sure there's plenty underneath this okay
I should have probably glued it down with art glitter glue first and then put Mod Podge on top. Because this is a really heavy piece of stuff, but um, okay. Let's do that. That way there's plenty. <laughs> plenty underneath it. And then we'll cover everything. Oh no! Go back, go back. That's still not sticking down. Okay. The ink and stuff that I used because I just remembered I used um, distress inks on it, distress oxides. So who knows what it's going to end up looking like. But we're going to let it dry and then we'll come back and look at it. Okay, here's the finished product. It dried. And I think I'm okay with the fact that the inks moved because that just kind of pushed everything back just enough to make it look like it's a cohesive whole and not um, painting stamped on top. Um, does that sound weird? Anyway, I like it. I, I'm, I'm happy with it. I was really concerned about this until I added these. And that um, changed the whole dynamic. So... Every day is a second chance. <laughs> God bless you. Bye-bye.